Hi Pisces, welcome to your November How They Feel. Next move in love messages, love tower reading. So Pisces, we are looking at the person on your mind, whoever you're thinking of, and you want to know, you know, what are they feeling, thinking right now? What's their next moves? And what do they have to tell me at this time? That's what we're looking at. All right, Pisces, so we do have the Magdalene Oracle here. So I'm going to get you some opening messages to start, and then we'll jump into your reading. But welcome in, Pisces. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. All right, Pisces, let's see what we have for you in November, how they feel. Next move in, love messages, love tarot reading. That is a mouthful. All right, let's see what your opening messages are, and then we'll jump into the tarot. Co-creation. Acceptance. Little children. Hmm. And family. Oh my gosh. Pisces? Is someone wants to settle down and start a family? You also each could have children. This could be the blending of a family. They may also want to have um, children with you. This sounds so specific. Because it looks like here blending and also starting a family together and accepting maybe accepting each other and each other's uh, family or children or whatever that, you know, that means for you. Uh, but we do have family and little children and co-creation and acceptance. For some of you, I'm feeling like um, this could be someone relatively new that you're dating. And sometimes when you're dating somebody new and you have children, you're kind of hesitant to tell them that you have children until you're you date them a little bit more or you get to know each other a little bit better. So if this is someone that you're newly dating, I think this is someone that maybe could have children or maybe you have children and there's maybe a little bit of a worry of being accepted because of children. Um, but I do believe this is someone that believes in co-creating, blending a family, starting a new family, a uh, very traditional kind of energy I'm getting here too. So uh, let's see where this is going. All right. Either way, it looks like somebody here who wants to uh, start a life with somebody here that could involve family and children. So, all right, let us see. I see. So we have the good tarot here. So I'm going to do a reading with this deck. And at the end, we will close out with the messages of love oracle cards. And those are by all things intuitive and i believe she is on etsy all right so let's see here pisces let's look at how they're feeling for you at this time how are they feeling towards pisces at this time for this november how they feel love tarot reading all right let's see this card's a huge so i'm just gonna lay them here and take it from the top two of pentacles oh there's uh, the Lover's card, King of Pentacles, Six of Cups reversed, Knight of Wands reversed. Hmm. Let's take one from the bottom, and we have the King of Cups. So let me push these over a little bit here because these cards are huge. All right, so what I feel like here... Um, Pisces, this is something very traditional. I keep getting that. And the King of Pentacles can be that. And actually, we have you here, Pisces, with the King of Cups. So this isn't someone from the past. I feel like this is someone newer. Also, I feel like this person um, doesn't have any past interference because we do have the Six of Cups reversed. Uh, and the Knight of Wands reversed, though, I feel like this person, um, I feel like this is someone you're dating. And you're wondering, maybe you've been on a couple dates, or maybe more. It could have been really long dates or whatever. But there's this energy, too, of Pentacles of being on the fence about a connection. Because we do have the lovers here. But it's a very... So that you may know this person is very, very... They seem very traditional. Um, with the King of Pentacles here. Um, but I do feel like this person is thinking of you here with the uh, King of Cups. But there's something about... I mean, the Knight of Wands in reverse is about not really taking action. So they could be a little unsure about how this is going to work. If there is children involved, so maybe you don't know them 
don't know that about them yet but you know sometimes a very these days a very open energy and people know when other people have children um but maybe they're a little worried about your reaction to that um or blending of families if that resonates i mean that may not be for everybody but i kind of get that energy of like uh, i don't know this will be this will move forward this is a little worried about uh blending families of some kind or starting new family having children down the road i mean maybe you've had discussion and Maybe this person's like, oh, yeah, I like to have more children. And you, you may be at the point where I don't really want any more children. So there could be a little hesitance here due to something with blending family, children, having more children or something like that. But I mean, we have you coming out right out in their energy here, Pisces, with the King of uh, Cups. It could have been on like two to six dates. It seems like a kind of a widespread but um we got two and six here so but we do have uh gemini virgo sag pisces that's you let's see if we get more information around this like what does this mean what else do we need to know about how they're feeling about pisces like what is going on here could be same sex for some um uh, you have two kings king or queen maybe people adopt so take it out resonates or some people um, are in some same-sex relationships now, and I know people who are, but they have their own biological children, so. Tower reversed. A little bit of a stuck energy here. Nine of swords. But I don't see any stress, but that's weird. Okay, let's see. What? Three of swords. Eight of pentacles. Okay, I'm getting the messages here. Six of swords reversed. In the knight of pentacles so i think if this is someone new that you're dating i'm definitely getting that they could be a little worried it's like they don't want to worry about a broken heart or about being disappointed or not being accepting whatever a family dynamic is or situation or the wanting of or the having or the blending or something else maybe they're a little worried here or maybe having a non-traditional relationship whatever here they could be a little bit worried. It's like, I don't want to worry, nine of swords reversed, about having a broken heart. You know, I, I kind of want to know if something's going to work here before I move forward. The six of swords reversed is kind of a little bit of a staying still stuck energy. Um, not really having the clarity with the tower reversed. So taking things very slow. So they may want to take this very, very slow until they get more clarity on if this is going to work, how it's going to move forward, if things can blend or mesh together well between the two of you in some way, shape, or form. I'm just going to put it that way. Every situation is different. But I do feel like they could be holding back. You know, they're developing feelings for you. They may not be coming right out and saying it because of maybe other factors at play. Um, it's, uh, that's kind of what I get here. I just want to keep, keep it general, you know, because... But anyway, we do have Aries and uh taurus it's gonna be happening right now i just feel like they're using caution with this with their heart and their feelings until they know for sure the connection for you could really work and their and their and their energies between you situations will blend and mesh and they don't want to worry about getting their heart broken or will it or will it not work before proceeding forward so very slow tower slow moving Knight of Pentacles, slow-moving energy. All right. Okay. So, let's see what their next moves are going to be. Pisces. What are their next moves going to be? Pisces. Their next moves. Let's see. Queen of Cups reversed. Hmm. We do have the King Queen Cups here, but you're not at the same level because one's reversed or not on the same page. Let's see. Eight of Swords reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. Nine of Cups. They do kind of see you as wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy, though. Four of Swords, but there's just a lot of thinking about the connection here. We do have the Knight of Cups, so I do feel like they want to continue the relationship. They do want this to move forward, or the connection. 
whether you're just dating or it's starting to move beyond that, they do feel like they still want this to move forward with you. But there's still a lot of thinking about this, but they definitely see you as wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. I do like the Eight of Swords reverse, but that's about the energy becoming unblocked. But I still feel like the Queen of Cups reverse, there's still not going to be a big reveal of feelings or the offer coming through until they know that there's no blocks, Eight of Swords reversed, or there's no issues. So there's a lot of thinking about it, but they still want it to move forward in their feeling the wish fulfillment happiness joy they may not tell you that but they're feeling it so i don't feel the offer coming in until they know 100 percent for sure that everything's going to be okay and this is really going to work between the two of you so i don't know what issues or factors are at play for some it definitely could be surrounding a meshing family or wanting children or not wanting children or maybe there's just other things of outer uh, family circumstances so it could be something around that too all right could also be cultural differences. Could be something like that as well. But let's see. Um, let's see. We have Cancer, Capricorn, Scorpio. We are Scorpio season right now. Let's see if they're going to make any moves. Any moves. Like any moves towards you. Or their next move in general. Three of Pentacles. So growth expansion, which is good. But again, it's slow growth. Star, again, there's that wish fulfillment twice. So they're definitely starting to feel like you're the one. But there's a little worry here about something. So I definitely feel that. Hermit. So they're kind of keeping it to themselves right now. Let's see. Transformation. But they're hoping this is going to transform and move into something greater. Six of Wands, success, victory here. So I definitely see they really want this to work. Strength, yeah, so strong connection here. So they feel like the strong connection is developing between you. But I'm still getting this energy of they're going to take their time with this. They're holding back a little bit till they know this is fully going to transform into um, something really good. But they still want this to move forward. They're still going to move forward in the connection with you. But I just get a lot of caution here. I don't really get um, a lot on their next move. I don't think they're going anywhere either. But they're just using a lot of caution on, on how this is moving forward. When they feel like the big transformation is here, then I feel like they're going to come through with that offer. Because the Six of Wands, like in the t uh, Rider weight, you see the soldier coming with the wand and the offer on the you know, the wreath on the wand as the offer, you know, in the success victory. So, but we do have a strong connection here. cannot be denied with the strength card. And if there's any challenges to this, they feel that may be here. Definitely that's overcoming too. So I do like that. Again, star wish fulfillment, happiness and joy, balance. Divinely guided energy things meant to be. So they're really feeling like this. this is really good between you. Really good. So I would just kind of uh, hold out a little bit here. I mean, I think in the end that you will come through uh, and be really, I don't think they're not serious, but um, if they're developing feelings for you, eventually the I love you will come and I re really would like to be in a solid, dedicated relationship with you. Can we make it official? I want to make sure everything... You know, they made to say that eventually, too. Everything would work between us first. I was just using a little bit of caution. But I really, really want this to move forward and for it to work out. I definitely see that here. So we do have Aquarius, Virgo, Scorpio, Leo. So tell me how that makes sense um, for you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do one more row. Leave a comment, like, all the great things. One more row on the messages for you. Pisces. We do have a child here, too, so... Okay, I guess that's one for you. Ace of Pentacles, I'm ready for the solid new beginning with you. I definitely feel like this is what our relationship is going to be. A solid new beginning that I want to offer you. Patience reversed. So, that could be a little impatient energy. They could maybe feel like... Maybe you're being a little, you're becoming a little um, impatient with it, but they also want to make sure everything's going to align perfectly between the two of you. I keep getting that message. 
Eight of Wands before proceeding full blown into the relationship. Page of Fire, but they're excited for this and they're ready to do it. They want to do it, but they're just, like I said, using caution. Ace of Wands, too, yeah. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. They're excited for this solid, stable new beginning moving forward. Justice. So maybe they're feeling that something is just a little out of balance here. So they could have something going on in the justice system. It could also be them if they're, um, say, divorced or something and they're going through some legal battles and it could involve children. That could be something that they're waiting to settle before moving, you know, full force in the relationship with you. So it could be something outer, like I said, is not directly correlated with you. But I just see them with a lot of question here. So it could be protection of you and the connection or of themselves. But I definitely feel like when something becomes aligned and more in balance, um, it's patience about balance too. And the two balance cards are in reverse. So yeah, definitely when all when everything's aligned and balance, yeah, they 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 want to keep this this relationship going. Yeah, I don't see them going anywhere. But we have Sag, Sag, Libra. Let's see what else. Hierophant, yeah, dedicated, loyal, commitment. Uh, they got long term all over this. Seven of Wands, so open, vulnerable. Any kind of block regarding something in the justice system being removed. Moon reverse, so the path becomes clear. There's no fear. Two of Wands, a crossroads. High Priestess, so they're kind of keeping things on the down low right now. But then they're going to be taking the lead here, stepping up to the plate, going after what they want. Something just has to balance out. I'm not sure what that is, but... And they could feel like whatever this is is kind of sabotaging the connection right now between the two of you. But Two of Cups, I mean, that connection is right there. Queen of Swords. It could be somebody divorced, going through a divorce, uh, or the remnants of a divorce. And there could be some toxic energy resurfacing that you have to deal with legally. But we do have a single independent energy here, which I do like that. No more stalemating. So I do feel like, yeah, when all things are balanced and aligned, yeah, I, I still think, you know, they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. It's just by change something has to change all right okay all right so let's see what their love messages are for you pisces and also everything you need to know is down below pisces so you can check that out if you like to but we have the messages of love from all things intuitive and let's see what their love messages are you pisces let's see what are the love messages for pisces let's see friendship so it could have started as a friendship with this person forgiveness they may you know apologize or say i'm sorry or ask for forgiveness for maybe stalemating a little bit i definitely feel that but yeah There's something about a decision having to be made here but i think it's something regarding their situation true love yeah so they're feeling like you're the one pisces healing put the computer away yeah so they're just waiting for something to be you know done so this can come together and they can be in the here and here and now in the connection with you yeah like i said there could be an apology coming in um as well and it may not be their own fault or their own de doing but they may feel the need to apologize for delay for things to come into balance this could be something that they really have to keep track of so they they just can't wait till like this can be done and they don't have to deal with this anymore that's kind of what i get with the put the computer away all right pisces that's what i have for you so i do hope that helped that resonate and again everything you do need to know is down below i am wishing you the best and i shall see you next time